probably heard people say that when building websites with cursor AI, you run into a lot of errors. The output isn't what you expected. You try prompt after prompt, dozens of them, and still, something always goes wrong. But what if I told you that there's a simple solution to all of this? That you can create a complete professional website in cursor, exactly the way you want, using just one single prompt and without writing even a single line of code. Yes, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. We won't just build a website, we'll go deep into how Cursor AI actually works, how to use it for maximum performance, and how to work smarter, not harder. You'll learn what agent, ask, and plan really are, how they work together, and which model performs best for different types of tasks. We'll test it all, live. And by the end of this video, you'll not only have your own futuristic website built from a single prompt, but you'll also understand how to master Cursor AI like a pro. All of this, in under 8 minutes. So if you're tired of wasting time fixing errors, rewriting prompts, or struggling to get the results you want, stay with me till the end, because this video will completely change the way you build with AI. Let's get started. First of all, open Google and search for Cursor.com. This is the official website of Cursor. Once the page opens, click on Download for Windows. The download will begin automatically. After downloading, open the folder where the file was saved to start the installation. The installation process is very simple. Open the setup file, then click I accept the agreement. Next, click Next a few times until you reach the installation directory. I'll save it in this folder. Now, select the Cursor option. Here, you'll see two checkboxes. Add Open with Cursor Action to Windows Explorer File Context Menu. Add Open with Cursor Action directly to Windows Explorer Context Menu. Check both options, then click Next. Click Next again, and within a few seconds, Cursor will be installed. Finally, click Finish. Now Cursor is successfully installed on our computer. There are several ways to open Cursor. You can use the desktop icon or the right-click menu, but I'll open it using the command prompt, CMD. Then type Cursor dot and hit Enter again. Now, Cursor will open, and the files you create will appear in the same folder where CMD was opened. If you're using Cursor for the first time, it might seem a little complex, but if you've used VS Code before, you'll feel right at home. Cursor is very similar to it. Here, you'll find your project folders and files. You can search for files, browse GitHub repositories, and manage your extensions. For example, I've already installed several extensions, such as Server and some React extensions. To open the terminal, use Control plus Shift plus L. It's open by default. If it's not, use the same shortcut to open it. You can also open a new terminal from the bottom panel or via the terminal menu. On the right-hand side, you'll see a new chat section. It includes Agent, Plan, and Ask tabs. Let's quickly understand what these do. Agent. This is your AI coding assistant. It performs actions, edits files, and generates new code. For example, if you ask it to add dark mode, it will execute that functionality in your project. Plan. This creates a step-by-step -step outline before editing your code. It shows you the proposed file changes and actions before applying them. Once you review and accept, it executes those steps. Ask. This is used for conversation-based queries, asking for explanations, summaries, or suggestions about your code. For example, you can ask, what does this function do? And it will explain it clearly, like a chatbot. To summarize, Ask explains. Plan prepares the edits. Agent executes them. On the right side, you'll also find the model selector. Cursor supports multiple models such as Composer, Sonnet 4.5, GPT-5, and Code X. Each model has its own characteristics and performance level. If you prefer GPT-4, it's an excellent choice because it performs well and responds quickly in agent mode. However, we'll keep it set to Auto, which automatically connects the most suitable model. You can also add context, connect your browser, upload images for design references, and even use voice in Input. You can open a new chat using the plus icon. The clock icon shows your chat history. Now, let's create a practical project to understand how it works. First, we'll visit ChatGPT because we need to create a context.md file. To do this, we'll start by downloading an image. I've already downloaded one from freepick.com search. Search for futuristic website and you'll find many design inspirations. Choose one you like and download it. Now, upload that image to ChatGPT and use this prompt. Analyze this image and provide me with a script for the context.md file. ChatGPT will then generate a detailed script with color schemes, fonts, gradients, and other design details. Copy that entire script and go back to cursor. Create a new file named context.md and paste the text inside. You'll notice the text might look unformatted, without clear headings or structure. To fix
fix that use this prompt. Format this context into a clean, professional markdown with proper headings, subheadings, bullet points, and bold text where appropriate. Make sure it renders well in markdown preview. After formatting, return to cursor. Set the mode to agent, keep model as auto, and ensure context.md is added to the workspace. Press enter to apply the changes. You'll now see a clean, well-structured markdown file with proper headings, subheadings, and neatly formatted content. The editor will show red lines for removed text and green for new additions, indicating the changes made. And that's it. Your context.md file is ready and perfectly formatted in cursor. Our context.md file is now ready. Next, we'll add this context.md file below in place of the prompt. Once added, we'll pass this prompt. Build a futuristic landing page using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, following the design details in the context.md as a reference. Provide clean, well-commented code for index.html, style.css, and script.js. By default, our model is set to auto, but let's test a few others. First, I'll try Sonnet 3.5 to check if it's available for free. When I press enter, it tells me that a premium upgrade is required. Free users can only use GPT 3.5 or auto. Let's try another model, Gemini 2.5 Flash, to see if it works. It looks like most of the paid models here aren't available without a subscription. So, we'll switch back to auto and press enter. Yes, auto is working perfectly. You can see that our index.html file has been created with around 309 lines of code. Now, the style.css file is being generated, and you can see it's producing hundreds of lines of styling code. Cursor is performing very smoothly. Let's see how the final output looks. There's a lot of CSS here, nearly 1,099 lines of code, defining the entire layout and animations. Now, our script.js file has also been created, with around 400 lines of JavaScript. We'll select Keep All for all these files to save and apply them. Next, we'll open the index.html file with Live Server to preview our website. And here it is. Our futuristic website is live. Wow, it looks amazing. When we hover over the home or feature nav items, we see a beautiful gradient underline animation. The sign up button looks great, and the heading text has a stylish gradient color. The download info button also looks sleek. You can notice a smooth animated background, like a floating ball. And as we scroll, there's a scroll animation effect too. Hovering over boxes adds a dynamic gradient color animation, which looks very modern. Scrolling further, you'll see the pricing section, where you can choose a plan, and there's a sign-up form with validation. It requires your name, email, and password before submitting. At the bottom, the social media icons have elegant hover gradient effects. Overall, this UI looks exactly like a modern, professional, futuristic website. Now let's test its responsiveness. Yes, it's fully mobile responsive. The design adapts perfectly to every screen size. Even the lower sections and the footer look great on all devices. This website is 100% responsive and performs smoothly. The secret behind the magic. In traditional web development, you usually build each section one by one. It's nearly impossible to create an entire website UI with just one prompt. But here, I've shown you how to generate a complete, animated, responsive website, all with a single prompt. So, what's the magic behind it? The secret is not just the prompt, it's the context.md file. Most developers use dozens of prompts for different sections, fix multiple errors, and spend hours refining each part. But my approach is different. It's both smart work and hard work combined. The context.md file defines everything clearly. Design, layout, animations, and logic. When the AI generates code, it analyzes this file line by line, understands the design context, and then implements it perfectly. That's why we got such a polished result, because our context.md was detailed and well-structured. If you also want to build websites like this using AI, and you found this video helpful, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the channel so I can create more tutorials like this for you. And if there's any other AI tool you'd like me to explore, drop a comment below and let me know which one you want a video on. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.